I'm running just a little, just a couple minutes behind, guys. Had to feed my dad. Um, I'm just getting things set up here for our live candling tonight. Um, if I can remember how this tripod works. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There we go. Hope everybody's had a good Easter. Um, you're staring at my ceiling right now because I'm getting the tripod set up. It's kind of different, so each time I forget how I did it the last. As far as setting this thing up. Holy wow. Okay. That's closed. That should be open there. If you're watching, say hi so I know who's here. What in the world? It's like it's jammed up. It won't open. There we go. <laughs> Just a little bit of ingenuity there. Jeez Louise. Again, I hope everybody's had a great holiday weekend. Um, I myself did Easter yesterday with the family, and I do apologize for not being able to be on last night. Just with all the cooking that I did and stuff, um, I just, I, I couldn't stand here to do a video. So I do 100% apologize for that. Um, I don't remember which way. Like this, there we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to turn you around. Ooh. Hello, Miss Angela. Hi, see, I am here, guys. Um, I was hoping to have my cabinet incubator back up and going, um, but while replacing the command center on it, um, there is a relay inside, and GQF said that those relays are notorious for blowing out if you have any type of power surge and when I was putting the new command center in I ripped a wire out of a plug so I'm gonna go to an electrical place tomorrow and see if I can find the right type of plug so we are here to do our candling I'm gonna turn you around here um, we're here to do the candling. Um, we have various stages of eggs here. I have three different weeks in here. Um, the first batch is due to go into lockdown this coming weekend. Uh, second batch following the week after. And then the third batch after that, I still do have more downstairs. So... Um, I'm also going to use this as my cooling time, so I'm going to give these guys a quick spray. I have not candled these at all, um, so I have no idea. They've been in the incubator for a week now. Uh, usually I like to do it like day five, but it's just been a crazy week. So, and I'm hotter than Hades in my bedroom right now, guys, so please, apolog I apologize. Um, okay. So, let's start with this egg here. This is a Sylvester egg. Sylvester <laughs> hasn't been doing well for fertility. And that, you guys, is a no. I have one fertile egg from him so far this year. It's getting really disappointing. 
Angela or whoever's watching, can you please all let me know that you can see that clearly? Yes, no, maybe so. Um, and please holler at me if I get out of frame because I tend to look over behind my camera and then I can't see it. I end up moving the egg out of frame. Um, so this one looks like it could have started. Aha, I see it right there. Um, for anybody that's new and you've never, I gotta stop doing that. And you've never seen one, I can just barely see it on the edge right here. There's a little darkness ring. This is the yolk part that started to divide. This is a little ring. It doesn't look like it complete. But if you see that little ring right there, that is on my side, I can see it. I can see it a little bit clearer over here. See it right there? That is a blood ring. Um, that essentially means that it started to develop. And whether, you know, it was fertilized or whatever, but basically it quit. Same with this one. But there's no blood ring in that one. That one looks as if it was fertilized and did not take off either. So I'm just going to set it over here. Um, here we got one. Remember, these guys are seven days in the incubator. Um, so we're going to see some nice, good veining. Can you see that okay, Angela? Or I, I That's all I can see that's watching. I see that there's two people watching right now. Um, but that's some good veining right there. We're going to turn these guys at the same time. Um... Nice, nice, good veining right there on that one. So, um, nope, that one didn't even take. Nice veining on that one. Which, these ones are my whites. You can see the W when I roll it around. Um, trying to get some of the weight to the back of the incubator now. Hello, please stay. Thank you. Stay. Uh, uh, wow. This is a gray baby. So it might be gray above. Um, some good veining there. You can see when I'm candling, I candle on the side. I think it's easier to see things than if you're upright like that or the other way. And you always want to ha have your light at the big end. So you can see the air cell there. These guys, um, they've been getting churned three times a day, cooled and misted once. I think last night I forgot though. <laughs> I was just, I was just beyond, beyond able to even walk yesterday, really. Um, so this egg here, nothing inside this egg. Um, if I wanted to risk it, I could keep it in the incubator and watch, see what it does, but it is bad. You can see this darkness here, that's bad. Hold on just a second, guys, I gotta decline this call. Okay. Um, some good veining there. Some more gray. <laughs> this one, the air cell went a little wonky, but not the first rodeo for me. Hopefully, I can get it out safely. You know, once we get to this incubation and that egg's no good, you know, once you're incubating, um, you know, I, I, I think it's easier to incubate them than it is to actually get them past, like, it seems this year everybody's having a hard time from 
day 21 to day 28 um as far as for goslings quitting um not hatching out there's many things that can play part in that um you know i've been my mom started this back in i don't know 2012 ish something like that and I took over in 16, and even still, to this day, I still adjust things and tweak things. And it happens every hatch, it seems like. Okay, so here's another blood ring. You can see where it looked like it was fertilized there. It started to divide off because the yolk is settled down there. But you can see that slight, slight, slight hint right there of a circle. That's a blood ring. Another quitter. And that's what I call it as a quitter. Um, I haven't had that many quitters that early in the game. And gosh, I don't even know how long. Hmm. Might just be a year for it. I don't know. We shall see. Okay, so that one's got good veining. Um... Really good veining in there. And then the last one for this batch. Oh, really good veining. Alright, I'm good with this. Not too disappointed. I mean, it happens. Um, let me just close that incubator. And we'll go over to the next batch of eggs. That are on... They're going into their third week of incubation. Why? Um, well, no. No, they've got two weeks to go yet. Okay, so next batch. This is... This is when I find that it's a little bit harder to see some things at times. And you have to be a little bit slower. And just watch for the movement. So we see the shadow right there. We're going to watch and see that it moves. And, yep, really good movement right there. Can you all see that? How it's kind of just floating around in there. It's not me moving it. It is actually moving. There's something that might actually be a foot right there. Let me see. Can you see that shadowing right there? Yep. That is a body part. So, good deal. Next. That's a Sylvester baby. So, we're going to watch and see for movement here. Yep, a really good movement there. Oh yeah, we're just dancing around in there. That's good to see. So while we're doing this, take note of the air cells. Um, and the differences in air cells between what you see in this one. And what you see in the next batch of eggs. So again, we're going to just watch for movement for a minute. Sometimes they're a little sleepy, and I'll just take my ta finger and kind of tap on the egg. Sometimes, if you're candling at the end of your cooling cycle, they'll be a little bit chillier. You know, they kind of slow down a little bit, so. And usually if I, there we go. Da, 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 da. And usually if I don't see, like, uh, movement right away, I don't discard it. I'll come back and check it um, like the next day or something some really good movement there
And the process of the cooling stage, it helps with the air cell development. Um, just the humidity loss. Humidity plays a big part in that too. Hey baby. There we go. Well maybe. Unless that was just me. There we go. There we go. That was a move on our own. Sometimes they're just sleeping. Wow. Did not expect that right off the bat there. It's good movement right there. I like to see them dancing around in there. That means that they're really nice and healthy. Um, see how the air cell is coming down here? Which is exactly what you want to see. So this one's still got good veining. We're going to see what we can see for movement. Kind of looks a little weird in there to me. So I'm just going to see. There we go. I can see it. Can you see it? No, it's a little out of focus, isn't it? Hold on. Let me try again. There we go. Yeah. I did see movement. But... I don't know, it just, it seems heavy compared to the rest of them, but it's an awful big egg, too. The next batch, if you hang out long enough for the next batch, you'll really see some cool things. If you haven't hatched anything yet. Again, I want you to look at the air cell. And take note of the differences in the air cells. And these air cells are doing exactly what we want them to do. They're growing. Um, dancer in there too. Good deal. Alright. Everybody's still growing strong on that one. Okay, so this next batch that I'm going to show you is the batch that is due to go into lockdown. Today's what day? 21? Yeah. And I personally, I don't lock anything down, you know, until I start seeing internal pip. I do stop churning once I see, um, we might, we might come back and do another one like Wednesday. So let's plan on Wednesday for another video, guys. Um, so this one, you can see that it's really dark throughout the egg. This is when your eyes will start to play games. Do you see how the air cell is quite a bit bigger but there's literally just that little bit of space that I can see movement I don't know if you can see it quivering there can you see that quivering there yep there we go okay so It's kind of like finding the sweet spot. There it is, right there. Hi, Amy. Happy Easter. This batch is due to lockdown. They're actually supposed to start hatching. Day 28 is the weekend of Dayton. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't plan that one right, but oh well. There we go. Nice movement there. Amy, will I see you at Dayton? 
Um, for those of you that don't know what Dayton is, that's the um, Dayton Fancy Feather Club. They're having a show in Ohio. Um, I have opted to out of taking any birds a with the AI and B with my back I just don't think I can handle it right now um, so I'm just gonna go down there and hang out with my poultry family uh, I need I need some poultry family time have a club table set up and just be there to support the club I wish I could take birds this is the first time since 2016 that I have not taken birds down there it breaks my heart, but I'd rather play it safe with the birds and with my back because honestly and truthfully, um, I'm actually possibly, I don't know, I should find out more. I had to go on Friday for a stat MRI. Um, they're worried about, uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, cattle syndrome. Um, which if that is the case, then that is an emergency, sur it does become emergent surgery. Um, basically losing sensation. So, we shall see. Results didn't come in until late Friday, so we'll find out. Good deal. So this one may have quit, and the reason that I say that it quit, if you look at this egg, see how everything's kind of settled to the bottom of it? Um, that's usually an indication that it quit. But at this point in the game, I'm not going to toss it unless I don't see any, you know, any anything. But see, I, I don't see any movement. Maybe. But yeah, if you see the, see how the, the dark is settled to the bottom and it feels really cold. You can oh. feel the temperature, but see that, okay, we're going to see the difference here. See that? see that difference and then we're gonna look at this egg and see how it's all up towards the top I do believe that that egg quit um, I'm gonna set it kind of different in the incubator and we'll find out on Wednesday because I'm gonna be back Wednesday to check for um, what I call shadowing of the membrane It reminds me of when I was pregnant and I could see, like, you know, baby foot um, pushing against my belly. Um, so, yeah, one, wow. I see one that so far might have possibly quit. I'm going to come back to it. See that difference there? How and it does, even with you know, doing my cooling right now, it feels there's quite a bit of temperature change in it. So, that's something that you'll be able to notice too if you have one that's quit. Um, let me go ahead and turn the light back on here, guys. And uh I'm just going to give them another mist real quick. And yes, I keep my mister in the incubator. Um, I keep my mister in the incubator. Again, this is what I use. I found it on Amazon. Um, first time I seen one, I was like, ooh, I got to get one. My hairdresser had it. So... Um, but yeah, I'll plan on coming back on Wednesday evening. And we will do another quick candling um, and uh, see if we have any shadowing or, um, you know, anything that looks like I need to not turn it, not do anything with it. 
And that all comes with experience, guys. So, hi, Butch. Long time no see. Um, but a lot of that comes with experience. Um, whatever your method you're doing now is probably a good method to do. Um, and just, you know, reach out if you have any questions for anybody or anything, guys. There's plenty of people to help. So, on that note, again, I hope everybody had a really fantastic Easter weekend. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and work on trying to call it quits tonight. See you guys Wednesday, and we'll see where the babies are progressing.